Hello and welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad. My name is Heiken, we're playing Impossible Iron Man, Hardcore Difficulty, Highest Difficulty 1 Safe Game and no chances for a second try. Um, I'm think I, I've been thinking a bit about the progress of uh, the game and uh, the choices. I think I wanted to start by reflecting a bit about the game state. As you can see, we've fully upgraded everything within the town. And now we are coming into kind of uh, this, yeah, almost strange, tranquil state of not really needing resources that much. So we transitioned from not being equipped very well into having an access of everything super fast, um, which... Uh, which leaves me to think uh, that probably the strategy that I was doing was pretty greedy and to a degree might have quote unquote broken the uh, the end game. I mean, we're still like researching, don't get me wrong, and once the master crafted weapons are, uh, are done, we can uh, still turn to many, many other uh, small, nice utilization items. And you will see them because I want to give every uh, one of them a try. But I guess the point that I'm trying to make is um, once you've upgraded all of uh, the city, even the uh, field team extra abilities are super strong, like minus three on unrest um, regularly, plus uh, freezing, plus when you do missions, you also uh, reduce extra unrest. So it almost trivializes the strategy layer. And keep in mind, this here is, um, this here is the highest difficulty uh, with the most difficult settings for unrest. So... I'm not sure. Like I, I would probably uh, think there could have been a bit more game testing around uh, that specific feature. Anyways, that's just a bit of a thought process uh, there. We got nice little uh, upgraded SMGs, so they are on a Mastercraft level. Shotguns very soon will be on Mastercraft level. And it's the same uh, loadout as before, but you can see we have more weapon mods. Uh, so it's gonna be even more of a shootout. I totally forgot to see how many encounters we're um, getting into, but I think it was two, if I'm not mistaken. I spotted the target device. Disable when ready. Good, we got two entrances. The best for the last, last unit is guaranteed to lend their shot. Um, more surprised units and more stun. I almost like the idea of going in through here. Opening a side door. Oh, chrysalids. Hello there. Good. Purifier. Pretty nasty target. Chrysalid. Pretty nasty target. Cobra. Another chrysalid. Shit, that lot of chrysalids here. Um, neonate chrysalids and normal chrysalids. A bomber. Holy moly. Okay, well, I still want to go for the purifier first because I do not like fire. It's a really, really nasty status effect. All right, wait a second. Acid burn, thanks to our uh, to our rounds, which means this chrysalid is going to die. Time to hit this one. Good, very good. Alright, we first and foremost don't have multiple encounters, that's the only one that we do have. Meaning we can also... pull up our team. Thank you. Now... Oops, sorry. Let's start with good old shrapnel blasts. Ah! 
And one thing that I think everyone over the time of playing XCOM has appreciated is you absolutely never let Chrysalids um, act and, and start getting quote unquote the upper hand or or letting them get their turn. That's just not how it works. You're using your explosives, you will make sure that they suffer and that they absolutely get blown into smithereens because elsewise, well, you all know how, how it works elsewise. Chrysalids begin to re replicate and it's worse and worse and worse. Although in all honesty, um, so far, I mean, I've played quite a bit, but I haven't had a chrysalid attack me. I was always too afraid of the consequences, so I, I'm not even sure if we're immune against the poison. So take it with a, with a grain of salt. Maybe they aren't as bad as you would think. I did not find a wiki yet, so I couldn't read up on their on their um, actual poison. But I felt um, this is maybe not the uh, hardcore run. Is maybe not the best uh, time to start experimenting how how their poison would actually affect you. Could you please tell me why I can't bind the Cobra, but can bind everyone else? Well... Okay. As you wish. Good. Shotgun shots are done. Watch yourself. Good, that's the way or oh, let's decide that we entered. Let's get everyone over here. Best I move. Keep moving. And we'll just spread out. I'm reloading. Oh, I thought we still needed to flee. I misremembered that. Okay. We only captured two and two potential enemies. Well the fight itself was super easy. But I thought, for, for whatever reason, we needed to flee afterwards. It's a reinforcements encounter. It really wasn't. That's why I spread out like crazy, instead of just detaching the server. Good, we got our superior stock and a couple of credits. We unfortunately did not get the extra intel. This is nice. We got our... Um, spec, spec Ops finished. Good. 
We got Torque promoted and she has additional great abilities. Torque gains plus one armor when binding an enemy and will not release the bind upon taking damage. That's not bad. Um, specifically if she continues um, or if she needs to continue the bind. Uh, usually I tend to bind enemies that are close to my initiative turn so that uh, even if I continue the bind, they will have already lost their initiative. If you select enemies that are like on the far end of or far other side of the initiative, it is a good ability. Token is a bonus to crit uh, against poisoned enemies and will heal when ending a turn while standing in poison. That's not bad either. I personally like kind of self-sufficient uh, characters, so you can almost see um where where uh, she is going with it you could either like uh, go down the route of continuing to bind or you take the poison spit route and then um, use synthetic venom my problem in this run is um, although she has um, theoretically has poison split um, I haven't seen it on her character, and I think that is due to the actual um, problem uh, which I mentioned earlier uh, with changing the characters whilst they were in training, and I needed to rebind her her tongue grip. It is entirely possible that her tongue grip has taken the position of poison spit. So I like the synthet uh, synthetic venom and I can also see a world where you want to go with hard target and synthetic venom essentially um, stand right right next to enemies um, who are also in in poison and you will heal uh, on top of it and self-healing like we already found out is a really good ability um, I think we're still going for reinforced scales this time because uh, that will further um, disincentivize people from from hitting us whilst we are binding and that's uh, actually a good uh, it's actually a good ability on the other hand I haven't used synthetic venom yet and I can see a world where you are using venom uh, venom rounds and poison spit and then you could shoot on top of it plus heal I think the healing while standing in poison is probably the most difficult to pull off. Hmm. Tough choice. Let's try reinforce scales. And we're looking at what? Another day. Um, you know, I think our credits are fine. Grabbing around 50 more is good, but I would really like to get some more intel. There we go. One more day until we finally assemble. Nice Olympic shotgun here. Wishful thinking. Anyone can say they know what's going on. That doesn't mean they do. Channel 37, Celio Dash reporting. And that is very fire-based reward. Incendiary grenade. Um, it's a good uh, utility item. Dragon rounds. Um, as ammunition, also a good one. Kinetic uh, screen as a good uh, utility item. I'm wondering what kind of epic shotgun we're getting. I think we're going to go for the epic shotgun. Which will put Renova Heights into unrest and there's really not much we can do. Uh, no matter which one we're taking, uh, the other one will fall into unrest. That's a, that's a bummer. That's indeed a bummer. Uh, last day before it's payday. On payday we're getting a lot of additional income. So we should be fine. And I think the scavenger market is going to return soon as well. 
given that we have quite a few credits, we might as well want to see if we at least purchase an autoloader for the shotgun. Yeah, and I think that's good enough. So going into the armory, our shotgun, I think, was the only thing that did not have anything yet. So autoloader and superior stock seems like a reasonable, like a reasonable equipment there. Good. Which brings us not yet to the end. Um, we're only 15 minutes in, which brings us to the next mission. I was about to say, take the epic shotgun. And we are, for the first time, fully equipped. Look at that swag. Everyone has items. I love it. And we're looking at two encounters. So let's jump right into it. Hostiles are restless. Got a good look at the weapon. It's on our list. Good. Successful shots will crit. Well, that looks great. Successful shots will stun. And someone is marked. Well, that someone is going to be Axiom. And... Claymore is going to help him. Nah. If we get a crit, might as well use Claymore. But let him be last. Alright, that sounds more like it. We do have two encounters. Do not need to blow our all of our powder in the first encounter. Alright, here we go. We got a commando. We got a guardian, a hitman who is aggressive, so we might want to focus on him first. An android and a purifier, that's oh, definitely a good target. And another trooper. Yep, we're taking the hitman first. There we go. No more aggressive targets. I like the potential to stun right away. Bruiser. Purifier. An android. They are a bit too far spread uh, to make Dazzle work. Might as well stun the purifier. Beautiful. And we got a secured hit over here, or a secured crit. I take the 89% chance. Nice. Very nice critical hit. So tons of damage as we were uh, going in. The way. <laughs> He's panicked and starts hitting his own, his own friends. Good. The android is a bit sketchy, so what would we do about him? 31%? Wow, that's bad. The commando, we probably won't be able to kill him, to be honest. Might as well take down the guardian before he can shield everyone. Commando will probably... Oh! I was about to say we'll probably just use a smoke grenade. But instead he calls reinforcements. That's exactly what we did not want to happen. Let's hit the Guardian. Alright, he's gone. And who's going to be our prime target for a tongue pull? 
I think the commander made a pretty decent point that we would like to get him down. The purifier is not going to die uh, just due to his um, due to his acid burn. And I think Bind will not stop the reinforcements. He's already called them. We unfortunately do not have the ability. Soulfire will enter our turn, right? Yeah, when will end the turn. But that would delay the trooper, which is great. And that will take care of the purifier. I really don't want him to act. The bruiser can take a shot. We're taking some damage, but yeah, that's minor. All right, the bruiser has got to deal with the explosives. And time to get rid of the trooper. Low on ammo. Good, the android is still a problem. And we really don't want to let it get any closer. Good. More reinforcements. Fair enough. Good. The android might move up and explode himself. Not yet. Axiom, don't go in. Don't go in. Releasing the bind. That's one down. Yeah, and we can't simply take the 100% bind. There we go. Two down. So we're moving over here. Heading over. And let's get down the bruiser. Oh wait, I did have oh wait, I did have I think I made a, a small mistake. I think I think the weapon had the upgrade to shoot twice. Shelter could have taken a second shot. My bad. I'm moving. We do have a pretty solid cover position here. Reloading. Weapon reloaded. Oh, 
going for the purifier. There we go, another unconscious. And let's get the trooper, that which should end the encounter. Thanks to the imbalance bind ability. Alright, all units enter again plus 25 defense, that's good. Everyone's surprised. And someone would need to be rooted. Hmm. Well, everyone being surprised is actually not too bad. It's, it was a close one. The Everyone's being surprised. I assume that there are not too many um, too many aggressive enemies. Other than the turret here. And the alerted ones would consider to be surprised. Starting with the turret. And that was it. Continuing with the commando. Oh, there's a mech over there. Well, we just cleaned cleaned the house a lot. I have the target. Good, we got ourselves a true mech over here. And all of the other, um, all of the others um, enemies have taken quite a lot of damage. We're bringing up shelter. Okay, so it's a single hit. Can we hit both of them? No, we can't. Out. Yeah, let's just kill the trooper real quick. It's maybe running back. <laughs> yeah, okay, perfect. Perfect. Spectral copy. Yeah, let's place the mech in a tough spot. I like that. Furthermore... Let's get down the bruiser. Alright, time to kill the mech. Good. Throwing a grenade just to make their life live in hell. The bruiser can't do anything.
and our target is uh, made unconscious. And you know what? I don't want to lose the Ugh, I can taste your sweat. the Psy uh, fracture yet. So let them come a little bit closer. Okay, that's a problem. <laughs> that indeed is a problem. That would hit everyone. Yeah, we can't really do anything about it. It was a pretty, des a pretty decent grenade. That's why you want to... Get rid of the purifier. Within the blast radius. Move, you fool. It would be great if we could pick it up and just throw it back, right? Heading over there. Keep low. Trying to hit the hitman. And we're having burning as the debuff now. I hate burning. And I know who is going to deal with the purifier in a second. Our beloved Viper. There we go. I'm gonna roast. You are too close. Yeah, problem with burning is it just deals a lot of damage. One down. And unconscious. Oh, I thought he was still stunned. My bad. Good. Thankfully, we still have Trank rounds. Uh, the captured enemies continue to give us 20 intel throughout most of the missions. Uh, you got... Uh, little bit of a taste what the purifiers can do and if you leave them alone and they just continue to burn your forces it's bad man because you need to change your position usually and um, you need to spend some sort of healing in order to remove the burn or just wait until it uh, wears off mastercrafted shotguns that's a great breakthrough Good. We well, got a couple of things here. Assembly completed. We're now going for mastercrafted assault rifles. We got the mastercrafted shotguns for even more fun. Great. We got another superior scope here, which is super good. Another superior expanded magazine, which isn't bad either. And given that we do have so much intel, we're just buying both of them. And guess who would take them? Hell yeah.
Good, we got another shotgun, and Axiom so far has proven very valuable as a pure shotgunner. So how about we give him Callow Amber, uh, which grants the rapid fire ability. Rapid fire being, in this case, how much cooldown does it have? Try uh, five tries in a row, each uh, shot can be used once per mission. Yeah, I know that one, I had that shotgun in the other run. Um, unlike the uh, chain shot, which you can use more often, this is a once per mission uh, usable item, but it isn't bad if you think about it, because he can essentially shoot three times, um, at least once in, in the mission. Good, what else did we get? I think that was it. Um, one interesting aspect is, you can see uh, shotguns with their 4 to 6 base damage are already quite um, quite powerful in their in their damage. Now with all of that, um, we're now at 6 to 8 points of damage, free reload from the reloader. Where is the Where's the point about them um, removing armor? Do shotgun uh, do um, do mastercraft shotguns not shred armor? Well, I think they do. It just does not specify. Good. Oh, lucky for us, the Friday has saved us because every Friday, um, this here is creating um, minus two district unrest, which just barely uh, saved us. Lucky us. Okay, we got another field team assault over here. Do we need to do anything? No. Just gaining additional resources and that's it. Well, there's really not that much we need. I mean, we can buy whatever we want from the scavenger market. Theoretically, I can invest five days, right? Uh, but at the same time, to to somewhat keep our flexibility, I'm just running the smaller jobs for Intel and credits at the moment. Um, I think overall we're fine. We have just started the last big assembly job. Larium is still looking very, very healthy. And let's see what our other missions are. So first things first. We can simply cure the entirety of the unrest here. Holy moly. With level 3 in all of the city, I think we had one unrest so far. And that's about it. Mm. Superior expanded magazine. We don't need that. Target dissing system. We don't need that. Reflex grip. We really don't need that at the moment. Um, adrenal weave. Adhesion grenade. Well, the adhesion grenade can be nice. And I don't know that armor mod yet, so we might uh, look to go for this here for, uh, next, which is the Iron Spooled uh, mission. But that's going to happen in our next episode. We already pushed two episodes, uh, due, uh, two missions during this episode. Our team is almost level five, so we're on the right way. If we take a look, um, Torque has just been 
and promoted. Um, Claymore had been promoted a while ago. We are already at level 5 for a longer time with Shelter, so it's no, no news. And we do have Axiom uh, with us. I'm even questioning if we might want to mix it up since from a training perspective, you know what? That's maybe not a bad idea. So how about how about how about we're testing something new? I would like to see, since we don't have a dedicated healer in this group how we could maybe work together with uh, more dps so let's remove blue blood here and he'll just join the team i mean doesn't matter um doesn't really matter that we're taking shelter out because Shelter is level 5 already, might as well start um, training him and we can always switch around whom we want to take within the team. I think that's more than fair. We could also use Terminal in the team, I think that would be great, or Verge. I'll just switch around so that we do have a bit of um, a bit of a variety in the team building. Maybe we find some interesting combinations uh, between the characters. I was really hoping that we could expand the roster further so that we could um, grab the remaining um, the remaining operators, but that's unfortunately not the case. Not yet. Um, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, we're going to see each other in the next episode and um, take good care. Bye-bye.